I'm not famous, I'm not an actress, and I'm definitely not a model. I just work in an office. Outside of work, I'm just a normal girl. I just do regular girly things. I really like getting my nails done. I like to go shopping and doing happy hour with my friends. So living in Arizona, I really like to take advantage of the beautiful weather we have out here. Love being out at the pool, but definitely don't like being in my bikini. If I do have a bathing suit on, I definitely always have a cover up as well. I really try hard, you know, to do the best I can to be healthy. I really try to cook and eat really healthy and clean. I go to the gym several times a week. I'm on the treadmill. Even take my dog, you know, out on runs and walks at the park. But despite all these efforts, I really have a lot of stubborn areas that I just can't get rid of. My problem areas are really like my abdomen, waist, hips, and outer thighs. I feel like you can just totally see the contour um, and just little like lumps and bulges that I wish they were just more smooth. I really want to like my body and I've been so unhappy with it and I'm just ready for a change. I've been thinking about getting surgery for about five months now. I'm doing it now because I'd really like it to be done before summer comes. I mean, I think it would just be nice to really be just bathing suit ready. I chose Dr. Hall to do my surgery just because after extensive research online, I felt like he was the one that was best for me. He was the only one in the valley that specialized in liposuction and Brazilian butt lifts. I really also liked his website. I found it very informational. Um, he had a lot of before and after photos along with videos of surgeries too. So today is the big day. I'm getting my liposuction in the Brazilian butt lift. Um, so I'm a little nervous. I just filled out all my paperwork, just got that turned in. So now I'm just waiting for the nurse to come and get me. <laughs> Amber is going to be getting a micro liposuction procedure along with a Brazilian butt lift. The true definition of a Brazilian butt lift is actually just utilizing Amber's own natural fat, sculpting it out of certain areas, and then putting those living fat cells back into the buttocks region to enhance her shape in that area. Amber's areas that she's seeking to improve on her body are very typical of some girls. Both men and women can have areas that are absolutely resistant to diet and exercise. This is the most important part of any surgical plan when we're going into liposuction or fat transfer to get an accurate body map so that when we do our sculpting that we put you back together very accurately so we don't have any ripples or irregularities in the skin. That's one of the main benefits of this form of liposuction, micro liposuction, with the small instruments that we're going to be using. They're very accurate, very precise and the fact that we have you awake, um, so you're gonna have muscle tone. So we'll be able to get a very accurate result. Now we're gonna bring it around to the sides to create that tiny waistline. So you have potential for a very small um, waistline. You have a very small waistline underneath there. So as this is called framing the buttocks, where we take out that extraneous fat all the way back to the spine, clearing this whole waistline out. And then we'll feather a little bit right under here we can't be too aggressive with this area. This is a very delicate area with liposuction. There's a lot of soft tissue and little attachments that give you that, that nice little crease in your buttocks. So we don't want to destroy those delicate little attachments by weakening them. The areas that we want to build up are a little bit up here, okay? Because that's where it gets a little flat. We're gonna bring this down, but we still need you to maintain a little bit of width up through here. And then we will build up the dome even more so that it gives the butt that nice high profile. We want to have, basically, if we divide the buttock into four quadrants, we want to make sure that the majority of our fat resides up in here, so that if, even if the butt does start to drop, it maintains a nice high profile. I think it's going to be just a really, really nice change and a, and a very, uh, uh, very um, graceful change for your body. We started this business about 15 years ago with the sole intention of becoming a boutique liposuction and buttock augmentation or Brazilian butt lift specialty clinic. I don't do any other surgical procedures and never have. We focus our whole practice on these two procedures. The methods and the techniques that we use are very innovative and very modern. We use 100% local anesthesia. People stay awake during the entire procedure, which makes it very safe, but it also makes it very accurate 
because by having an awake patient, we can do more than just simply suck out fat. We can truly sculpt a body. We have the ability to stand somebody up and double check to make sure we got our curves where we want them. In other words, you just give yourself a much better chance as a surgeon if you have an awake patient that has muscle tone. So we can really follow the muscular contours and curves, giving somebody the right liposuction the first time they have it. Our average client is back on their feet the very next day, walking one to two miles, usually back to work at a desk job within 48 hours, and certainly able to resume their real physical activity like exercising within two to three weeks. Certainly with, with doing cosmetic surgery and liposuction, we're not saving lives, but we absolutely, without a doubt, are changing people's lives, changing them dramatically most of the time. It's a confidence issue. It's, it's uh, the way you look and you feel about yourself and your body certainly defines all of your interpersonal relationships with your husband, your children, your friends. The way we view ourselves is very important, and for certainly for some people more than others. We're getting ready to start surgery here, so you guys need to get out, and we'll see Amber back in a couple days. It was the easiest thing ever. We did surgery, it took a couple hours. Um, I would say on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the worst, it was probably a two to three the whole time, so it was super easy breezy. It went by pretty quick. It wasn't uncomfortable or anything, so I have really no pain whatsoever. Um, I probably could have been to work the very next day, although I wasn't, um, I definitely could have. So I have an undergarment on right now. That's probably the most difficult thing about the surgery is just being in the undergarment just because it restricts you a little bit. But other than that, I feel like it was super easy. Everyone thinks it just looks amazing and they can't believe the results, especially only, you know, 48 hours afterwards. I absolutely love my body now. It definitely has given me the confidence that I need to wear a bikini. And it also has given me that push to really work out even harder than ever before. Well, Amber really achieved amazing results with her procedure. We're very happy with it. And of course, she's ecstatic with it. Her boyfriend's ecstatic with it. But it's more of a tribute to how far liposuction has come in the year 2015. This is not our parents' liposuction. It's not the liposuction that we all know that's that's been done for the past 40 years. Her liposuction and Brazilian butt lift were done in a very minimally invasive manner, and she was back on her feet the next day. I am so happy I decided to do this. It's literally one of the best choices I've ever made in my life.